Life in the Vedic Age Historians have divided the Vedic Age into two. One, Early Vedic Period, 1500 to 1000 BCE. Two, Later Vedic Period, 1000 to 600 BCE. In the Early Vedic Period, the settlements of Aryans were around the Sapta Sindhu and in later Vedic period, the Aryans shifted to the Ganga Valley. Social Life The Village The Aryans lived in villages. The village was called a Gram. It was well planned, usually rectangular in shape, with a number of thatched huts surrounded by a stockade. Houses were made in a systematic manner. The king did not interfere much in the village life. A number of villages together was called a Vish. The village community was made of families and great importance was given to the family in Aryan society. The family Family was the primary unit of this close-knit society. The eldest member of the family, often the grandfather or the father, was the head of the family. He was called the Grihapati. It was his duty to look after the family members. It was a patriarchal society. Men had one wife at a time, though some married more than one woman. Women were held in honour they were mainly responsible for managing the affairs of the home. They joined their husbands in religious ceremonies. They were given opportunities of education. They attended assembly meetings. Some of the Rig Vedic hymns were composed by women. Fact. About 3500 years ago, the Aryans, a band of tough warriors and shepherds, fled across south the Hindu Kush mountains to settle in the Indian subcontinent. Society The Aryan society was divided into four classes or Varnas. They were in fact occupational groups which were formed by people on the basis of their work and skills. The four Varnas included the Brahmanas, the Kshatriyas, the Vaishyas and the Shudras. The Brahmins were learned people who performed religious ceremonies and taught the people. The Kshatriyas were the warrior class. They mainly governed and defended the land. The Vaishyas were the agriculturalists, artisans and merchants. The Shudras were the people who did all the tasks and served the three classes. Brahmana Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra Food The Rig Vedic people ate simple food. It mainly consisted of barley, fruits, vegetables and meat. Milk was taken in plenty. Other popular drinks were Sura and Shoma which were used on festive occasions and religious ceremonies. Dress and Ornaments the dress mainly consisted of two garments covering upper and lower part of the body. The dress was made from cotton, wool or deer skin. The garments were dyed in bright shades and were beautifully decorated with golden embroidery. Both men and women used gold and silver ornaments. Amusements The Aryans were fun-loving people who found time for games and amusements. Their favorite pastime include horse racing, chariot racing, wrestling, hunting, gambling, religious beliefs and practices. Religious Life The Aryans were religious people. They were attracted by nature. They worshipped the forces of nature such as Prithvi, Earth, Agni, Fire, Vayu, Wind, Indra, Rain, Surya, Sun and Varun, Sky. Their most important god was Indra. 
Agni was next in importance. The mode of worship was recitation of prayers which were held in open air. Prayers were offered both individually and collectively. Offerings of barley, milk, ghee, etc. were made to gods. No temples, shrines or idols were made for this purpose. Though the Aryans worshipped many gods, but they believed that there was only one god. Nature Worship and Yajnas Worship of nature was prevalent in early Vedic period. Fact The Aryans had no form of writing. Like many ancient peoples, they passed on their history and religious beliefs by word of mouth. The Aryans believed that certain evil spirits existed. Prayers offered to gods were mainly for food, health and prosperity. Economic Life Agriculture Agriculture was the main occupation of the people. They were aware of sowing, harvesting and threshing and were mainly dependent on rains for irrigation. Land was cultivated with the help of oxen. They were familiar with barley, rice, cotton and oil seeds. Domestication of Animals Cattle rearing was the main source of livelihood being a pastoral economy. The Aryans relied more on their cattle wealth which was a measure of their prosperity and status and was a main source of livelihood. Cow was the main and highly valued cattle. A man's status was judged from the number of cows he owned. Cow was used as a medium of exchange with the barter system. Aryans were also familiar with bulls, horses, sheep, goats and dogs. Trade and Commerce Trade was mainly carried on land. It was done mainly through barter system. The value of the thing was measured in terms of cows. They were also familiar with sea trade. The Use of Iron The Aryans gradually learned the use of iron and it resulted in better tools, implements and weapons for their use. This brought changes in economic life and helped them in maintaining superior armies equipped with better weapons. Political Life The Aryans were organized into many tribes. The tribe was called Jana. People owed their loyalty to the tribe. Each tribe was divided into number of small units called Gramas which comprised a number of families living in villages. Each family was headed by a Gramini. The families living together in a village formed a clan or Vesh. Each tribe had a king who was selected on the basis of his physical strength and his leadership qualities. The king was the protector of his tribe and ruled according to the wishes of his tribe. He also offered prayers to God on behalf of the tribe. Ministers, Officials and Advisors The king was assisted by ministers, advisors and officials in discharge of his duties. The chief among them was Purohita who advised king on religious matters and moral issues. Next to him was the Senani who was the head of the army. Then was the Gramini who helped the king in looking after the affairs of the village. Sabha and Samiti These were the two assemblies which assisted the king in his work. The Sabha consisted of select group of people. It can also be called the council of elders of the village. The Samiti was a kind of general assembly where all the members of the tribe participated to sort out the affairs of the village. Vedic Literature As already mentioned, the Vedic literature is a great source of information 
about the Rig Vedic period. The early Vedic literature included the Samved, the Yajur Ved, the Atharva Ved, besides the four Vedas, the Brahmanas, the Aryankas, and the Upanishads also form a part of early Vedic literature.